2022 is kind of a rough time for artists with NFTs and AI generated art causing quite a lot of panic. And then on top of that came the news on Clip Studio Paint changing their payment models. Artists all over the world are literally shaking, crying, throwing up, dusting off their old painful sci versions and pledging allegiance to Krita. And then there's me just sitting here sipping my tea with my unpopular opinion that the situation isn't as bad as it seems. Join me for some tea and let's see whether you should ditch Clip Studio or stick with it. Welcome to the Saigami Project. My name is Sunny and I'm a published full-time comic artist making videos for aspiring artists about the creative industry, tips, tricks and valuable products for future comic creators, creatives and freelancers. Before I focus on the whole 2.0 version and update passes, here's a quick rundown on how we got here and my personal experience with Clip Studio as a professional artist. Clip Studio Paint, formerly known as Manga Studio, has been around for well over a decade and it became one of the most beloved drawing software for amateurs and professionals professionals alike, especially for artists working on comics, webtoons and anime-inspired illustrations. Celsius, the Japanese company behind Clip Studio, has been rolling out new features and free add-ons on a regular basis, making the software more and more robust with every new version capable of handling 2D art, 3D models and even animation. All of this on a pretty affordable price, especially if you got your software on a sale, which happens pretty frequently. Clip Studio really went from that manga drawing software to a versatile professional art software, winning over users of Photoshop, Paint to Sci, and so on. Just a few years ago, Clip Studio Paint also became available for the iPad, and shortly after for Samsung Galaxy tablets and Android phones as well. However, these versions were accessible on a monthly subscription fee instead of the perpetual license of the PC and the Mac versions. I myself have a Samsung Galaxy Tablet 7, which came with 6 months of free Clip Studio, but eventually I I had to buy the bullet and get that monthly subscription in order to keep using the software. I would lie if I told you I didn't feel salty at first about the fact that I own the license for the PC version, yet I still have to pay the regular fee to be able to use the software on my tablet. Apps like Procreate have a one-time purchase fee only, so why couldn't Clip Studio do that as well, right? Capitalism, baby. But despite my early saltiness, this was something I got used to and with one of their big sales I just got a year's worth of Clip Studio Paint EX for a mere $36, which is basically $3 per month. I got the perfect drawing software with all the bells and whistles for a price of a coffee per month and once I had that in perspective, I honestly wasn't bothered by the subscription plan anymore. Would I prefer not having to pay more than a one-time fee for Clip Studio? Hell yeah! Everyone loves free things, but if I look at the value I got out of that monthly few dollars spent, it's still a damn good investment and I make that money back hundredfold with my work done in Clip Studio. Now, with the news rolling in, starting 2023, they are switching over to Clip Studio Paint version 2.x and the current 1.x version of Clip Studio Paint will stop receiving free upgrades and if you want to keep using the newest features, you will need to buy an upgrade pass that will allow you to access the Clip Studio version 2.x. So basically, all of the nice free updates everyone loved we've been getting for free of so far will be put behind paywall for version 1 users. <laughs> If you're buying the software for the first time in 2023, you will get the perpetual license for the two-point version, including the free upgrades, so new users won't have to deal with the cost of the upgrade passes. Now, given that the one-time purchase of the perpetual license for PC and Mac was one of the biggest appeals of Clip Studio Paint compared to, say, Adobe, and that this change affects the current customer base of Celsius, I can understand why there's an uproar. However, seeing people saying they'll just go back to Psy or Krita or whatever software because of this is kind of ridiculous. The software is still just a one-time purchase. You buy it, it's yours to use with all the functions and features it already has. If you already have Clip Studio Paints, congratulations, you get to keep using it without having to spend a single cent. You are not getting scammed here and not being forced to switch over to a subscription plan. You even will receive bug fixes and maintenance, so you literally won't lose shit. You don't have to find an alternative software and don't have to pirate. You literally get to keep working on with Clip Studio just as you did before. And when there are the new updates and features coming out, it's your decision whether you want to get them with an upgrade pass or not. Currently, we have no price set on the upgrade passes, but according to Celsius, it's gonna cost less than a monthly subscription fee. 
So once again, we are looking at the price of a coffee. And let me repeat myself, you are not forced to pay for this. If the upgrade doesn't have a feature useful for you, you simply don't have to buy it. You get to decide. Think of it as a DLC. If you want it, you can get it and have more fun with your software. But if you don't want it, you're still getting the whole freaking experience, which in this case is a robust professional software for literally all your art related needs pretty much. Developing software and running all the maintenance and everything obviously will come with increased expenses for the company in the long run. So honestly, it's not too surprising that once a new iteration rolls around, they will need to start charging the customers for that new thing. For example, just because you bought the PlayStation 3, it doesn't mean you get to just upgrade it for a PlayStation 4, right? And this is how software always used to be. When I was starting out with digital art, I had Manga Studio 3, and eventually when Manga Studio 4 came out, I had to get it separately if I wanted that upgrade. I literally waited weeks for my imported CD, let that sink in a CD imported, to come in so I can get those new features. And if you couldn't get the newest version, then you just kept using your old software for however long you needed it. The fact that we've been getting massive free updates for Clip Studio for like a decade, it's pretty dang impressive and you cannot tell me that you didn't get your money's worth already. I honestly find it a bit pathetic how some people online are starting hysteric dumpster fires over something that's not the kind of betrayal as it seems. If we were forced to pay a monthly sub from now on just to even access the software, now that would be very different. But you are not. You are not. You still can use Clip Studio until version 3 rolls out, and honestly, that might not even happen until like a decade from now. If there are gonna be upgrades that I think I will need for my work, say for example a better lettering tool or better tools for photo bashing, then I will happily purchase that upgrade pass because it's gonna be dang worth my money and still a so much better deal than Adobe ever. And yes, I know, not everyone can pay for their software and update. Been a starving artist myself before. But if you already have Clip Studio Paint, you have it and it's gonna stay free to use. They are not taking it away from you. And there are always the big sales too, just like the one they currently have going on. And the fact that you can get a software with literally everything needed to make manga, comics or webtoons for as little as 29 USD, it's still an insane good deal. Sure, the EX version is a bit pricier, but Jesus, it can be so worth it. But remember, you don't need the EX version. You can make manga, webtoon, whatever you want, with the pro version just as fine. You don't need the EX version to be professional. Has very convenient features, but you don't need it. And as a professional artist, Clip Studio was, is, and is going to be probably my best investment ever. Do I wish I didn't have to spend more money on it? Well, yeah, yeah, I could spend that money elsewhere too, but at the same time, if this software that allows me to continue do my dream job and not just do it, but make it better and easier, then I don't think paying a bit extra is the end of the world. It's not a betrayal. I know I can trust the quality of this software and my investment will be worth it. Just how it's still worth to pay for the Android monthly subscription. Which, by the way, won't change. If you're on that subscription plan, you'll be getting the upgrades just like before. And if I wanna be very optimistic, maybe the upgrade passes will mean even more frequent and more ambitious expansions and improvements. Since, you know, now it's gonna be their best interest trying to roll out new features that we will want to pay for. And if you happen to be like me and have Clip Studio on multiple devices, you can play around with the versions a little bit, say using the new features on your tablet where you already play the subscription anyway, and just stick with the old version on your PC. It's up to you. You can get those upgrades whenever, while all the current features are gonna stay the same and allow you to do your work just like you did before. I might be the minority here, but I honestly don't find this such a big deal. But Sunny, they might switch over to subscription completely just like Adobe did, then what? Well. They don't just yet. It was confirmed that it's not in the plans for the foreseeable future, so it feels like we're blowing things out of proportion. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually with the three-point version they'd make that step, but honestly that's so far down the line that I don't think it should be our concern at this stage. We know that our current Clip Studio paint is here to stay for a good while, and it literally already has everything I need. If you wanna act on spite and go to a different software, that's your call, but I know that this software is per perfect for me and my works and I can wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone as it's just really good and I honest to god think it's worth the price with or without the upgrade passes. And that's just my two cents. If you don't happen to have Clip Studio Paint yet, well guess what? It's giveaway time! Woop, 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 woop.
Loop, here's your chance to win a Pro license for the PC or Mac. Leave a comment on this video on what you would use Clip Studio Paint for, and I will be picking two lucky randomly selected winners who will get a Clip Studio Paint Pro license for Mac and PC version. This giveaway is not sponsored and is not associated with Celsius or YouTube. I'm just doing this from my own pocket because I love you guys and I really just think every artist should have Clip Studio Paint. I truly love this software and I think it can benefit anyone. I know this video was more subjective and less informal, but I just felt like I need to vent a little bit and clear things up as I know many received false news on this whole thing and were only exposed to the hysteria and bot hurt outlashes. Guys, it's gonna be alright, trust me. Clip Studio Paint is still good stuff and now you can get it on a discount price, which is still one of the best deals ever. This is how I can do this giveaway for you all. So if you or any artist you know needs a free version, drop a comment below to enter. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a free click for you, but it helps this channel grow tremendously and it will allow me to do not just more informal content here, but also host more giveaways in the future. Also, don't forget that my manga series Saigami Volume 1 is out in bookstores, now in the UK, US, Canada and even Walmart, not that it's a country, but you know. And by picking up a copy, you support my works a great deal and I will be sending a virtual hug your way. You can find more info and links in the video description below. And of course, special thanks to all of my lovely supporters on Patreon, the real MVP squad. And also thank you, yes you, who's still here, thank you for being amazing. Next video will drop very soon, so stay tuned, stay safe, and keep on making art that makes you happy. Sunny out.